Hi everyone and thanks for watching CS Academy Worldwide Platform for Computer Science. This is Sabiduddin Ahmad Siddiqui. Now our today's topic is again correction of errors. Today we are focusing on if repeated statements that means the repeated ifs. So before we proceed any further there are some rules to remember. So take a look of this. For repeating test in an if structure, the value must be logically present. That means the test you are performing on the values must be present in the system or in the data areas where you are going to pick this value and then perform repeated test. For example, if you are testing the percentage repeatedly, that means if percentage less than equals to 40 or if percentage less than equals to 40, then what comes out and what will be the output? And if you are tracking this, if percentage less than equals to 40 or percentage uh, or greater than equals to 40 or percentage less than equals to 50 then what conditions should apply and in connection with this you have another rule which you should keep in your mind and repeat it if you will test the particular condition by repeating the situation word or parameter here i uh, need to make you clear that what is meant by situation word or parameter basically situation means let's suppose you are select selecting one word and you are just checking or testing it out or same is with the word, let's suppose you're finding a word. If you find a word starts with A, let's suppose uh, ambassador. So the word you are looking for must be focused in a condition as a constant and then you will start performing or closing the statements. And same is with the parameter, let's suppose you are, you are entering the word, let's suppose computer science so computer science will be treated as parameter in a variable or the variable the value which you are typing in that is the computer science so the computer science will be stored in a variable that is your let's suppose any variable where you taking any subjects let's suppose subject is the variable in which you are looking for computer science so if subject equals to computer science so you will be making the event where it will catch the subject item that is computer science so then when it is when it picks this up you will see the condition and the actions corresponding to the uh, receiving of the particular item or finding the particular item will alert you or will represent you what is tracked with the condition applied. So now moving on to the example and syntax and example, see how do we track this. Now this shows you that how the if repeated condition applies you can see that the condition structure remains same if condition then action if there is any action or after that if you are just performing something so let's suppose you took some input and then you are just applying or uh, if condition let's suppose you have percentage over here or you are applying let's suppose percentage condition let's suppose it could be if per percentage greater than equals to 40 or less than equals to 50 then action will be let's suppose pass or something like that or else if in else if statement else if you are using when when you went to when you want to track the condition again let's suppose now in this case in, in this case here you are going to just write this for uh let's suppose uh if condition greater than equals to 40 and less than equals to 50 here you are put you are putting the condition again then action will be let's suppose his pass the grade is this and so and so else if again you are just checking the condition if percentage greater than equals to 50 or less than equals to 60 so then again what what are the ac actions ab uh, about this right so there are the actions so which actions to be performed so you can see that okay i have different sets of actions i am going to perform on each occurrence of the particular condition so you can see that how you track the repeated condition how can you can repeat you can track that how the conditions are tracked right so this action or actions of you can see here that which action has to be performed now this is closed they are the repeated statements now this else is the part of this if so now this is the default else now same as with the, with the first part when we were uh, explaining you the simple if so you will see that the default message if anything goes wrong or if the percentage greater than or lesser than that so you will see if the mismatch is there so the default action will 
alerts you about the messages in validity of the data and something like that and and if ultimately you know that this is the complement of this syntax so in repeated if you will you will test the word repeatedly in which you are or the com or the item in which you are looking something let's like suppose i have just given you the example subject if subject is maths so again you will track subject if subject is english again you are tracking subject if subject is computer science again you are tracking with subject subject if subject equals to or subject is let's suppose physics so and so on so and if you are tracking this repeatedly so you will be using else if statement in connect connection with this if statement and this will be connected continuously until all the conditions are met so you can see the example now if percentage i have written the simple statement here that let's suppose generally speaking is speaking that if i am going to i am going to i am discussing something with someone and i have just said my mind that if i get 40 if i get 70% marks or 40% marks so i will be getting admission there and there and so and so right so now if percentage now first of all i have just kept this simple if percentage less than 40 that means you are, are tracking for failures those who have not able to achieve at least 40 percent marks so in that case you are printing out the information that is the remark will appear or will message you out that is you failed and if you are in this intention that you are going to count that how many times this percentage appears and how many students scored less than 40 so this is the counter for failure i have just given the name to correspond to the message body that is failed f for fail so f equals to f plus one will count in course that means that it will it will count total number of failures as the condition gets true so now on the other hand you can see else if percentage greater than equals to 40 or percentage less than equals to 50 then you can see that i have extended the condition statement here with the logical operator that is or will just operate two conditions range or the range the in between these two ranges that means it will start 40 with 40 and then it will have the range 50 so in in this range let's be 0 0.1 41.2 41.30 and something like that till 49.99 or 50 then you will see that the print u scored e grade let's suppose so if you want to count total number of e's again you are just putting the sub counter over here that is e equals to e plus one which corresponds message e grade so i have just connected this with this that you are calculating e grades to total number of e grades how many e grades are there so you have just put a counter to count total number of e grade when the condition satisfies the pick so when you pick the condition that means if the condition is true so you will see that e grades will be the message you secured e e grade see that the counter will count total. on the other hand you can see that else if again i have just tracked percentage where i'm just focusing that if percentage greater than equals to 50 or percentage less than equals to 60 then you are again going to show the message that you secure d grade which is greater than e so now again you have correspond this counter with the grade that is you are just calculating d grade that is why the counter d so in this way you can see that how you connect all these count sub counters with the conditions and you can track easily everything now this is done as an inner part of the loop which is executing as the repeated tests and now the else which is the default case in default percentage goes wrong now you will see or you will you will be uh, given an alert that print invalid percentage entered so this you, you can easily understand the and then this is and if so again you will see this okay now this is state they, these statements show you the meaning and then you can see that this is the inner part of the repeated statements and then this is the outer part of the if statement which will come to end with the complement so now this way you have understood about repeated ifs so you can use a track any kind of going to repeat the test on one value and to find the data in that value 
apply this test i hope you will like this thanks for watching